So yes, yeah, samples. I've had around eight samples arrive over the last two, three weeks um, from about five or six different suppliers. Sometimes I get more than one sample from the same supplier. Um, and I just wanted to kind of share with you my experience and hopefully by doing so, you'll find that beneficial when it comes to yourself ordering some samples. So the first thing I want to discuss is how much should a sample cost? Now I had prices ranging from kind of 20 to $30 for a sample, all the way up to kind of $110, $120 for the sample. What I think is happening is some of the suppliers on Alibaba are using the sample cost as a way of finding out whether you are a serious buyer. So the person that had the most expensive sample actually had the cheapest unit cost. So I was happy to pay extra for that sample, knowing full well that I would easily recoup that if I then placed an order with them. The other thing as well with these samples, if you speak to most of the suppliers and ask them, can you refund the sample cost if you do place a full order, they will usually say yes. Not all of them will refund the shipping cost on the sample, but most of them will refund the actual sample cost itself. So I think I mentioned in my last video, I was gonna show you the template that I use. This is just a very simple template that I've developed myself. It was a lot more complicated when I first started sending it because I'd copied some of the templates online. Um, but what I realized is that the more information I included in that first email, the fewer responses we seem to receive. So I think what happens is obviously with the language barrier as well, if you just overload the supplier with questions and content, they kind of um, probably get a little bit confused and just move on to the next. So I've tried to develop this template, which is quite short to the point, um, and it's just a way of initializing those early conversations and getting some of the key criteria. So I've got it open on my laptop. I'm just gonna read through it. So I'm gonna shrink myself into the corner um, and bring up the template for you guys to look at. So my template, it says, hello, my name is Darren Lynch, obviously, and I am the purchasing director for Business XXX. Now, I think I mentioned previously that I do have a business already. I've been running a web design business for kind of seven, eight years. So I use that because if they look me up, they can see that I have um, got a business name and it makes me look quite reputable. Um, so I drop my business name in there. I then say we've been trading for seven years and we are looking to expand and we're seeking a long-term partnership with a reliable, high-quality manufacturer that can meet our bespoke production requirements. So a little bit wordy, but it just kind of fluffs them up a little bit by saying that kind of the expectations you're setting is that they, you want to work with people like them that are really good you know, and high quality. So I then just go on to some very brief questions. So the first one is, we are very, sorry, we're very interested in product XXX, although usually on Alibaba, the actual inquiry will show the product anyway, but I always show exactly what product I want to use just to kind of do away with any chance of there being miscommunication. Um, so the first question is, would it be possible to make the following customizations? Sometimes you might not know what those customizations are until you get the samples and can compare. So you know you can drop this point out if you want to. The second one is what is the cost of the products for X amount of units? So I usually look at 500 units and then you can kind of go up or down once you've decided how much you want to spend in the end. And finally, what is the cost of the, car, the sample to be sent to X postcode um, in the United Kingdom? So then you get kind of the core details that you need it kicks off the conversation and then the supplier uh, you can bounce back and forth as you order the sample and find out more details about their product and offering. Um, obviously then I then sign it off with thank you for your time. I look forward to your prompt response. I include my name, my email address and my full business address to show that I am a serious buyer. I'm not, I'm not just emailing from your kind of a free address and there's no business behind it. So once you've ordered your sample, it's then waiting very patiently for it to arrive. Um, one thing to be aware of is a couple of the suppliers did stitch me up with lead times. So they'd be like, oh yes, we can get the sample, you know, the sample is five day shipping. Then I paid the sample cost and then they come back and say, oh yeah, and we've got 10 day lead time to make the sample, which is fine, but they don't tell you that information up front. So you do kind of have to ask that question first. So I learned that. Um, so now I will say to them, how long for, is the sample lead time and delivery? Um, and if you're making customizations to the sample, so if you want the sample to show your logo or any other tweaks you want to make, then you're gonna have to wait for that as well. In terms of paying for your sample, I've paid for samples in two ways. The first way is trade assurance, which obviously I'd recommend and everyone recommends for actually when you do place your full order on um, Alibaba, but sometimes trade assurance can take a day or two to actually clear to them. So I've been paying some suppliers by PayPal as well, just because that's instant and they can get things moving straight away. So the final thing is what to do once your sample has arrived. Now this, I know this is really hard to do, but I like to wait until all of the samples have arrived so that the excitement of the first sample kind of doesn't lead you to thinking that one is better. So I'll wait for all of them to arrive open them all together and then compare them back to back. 
Um, I'll try any features. If it's got any moving parts, try those. If there's any connections, such as you know, sewed bits, connect. What, see what the thread ends like. See what the strength is like. Uh, to give you an idea on one of the products I'm doing, I was comparing the fabric thickness, and then I was taking kind of a sharp object to it to see how durable it was. So compare the features, compare the build quality, and sometimes then it becomes apparent why one supplier is cheaper than the other, and it also becomes clear which um, bits you need to improve before you launch the product. So most of the samples I had come in, um, I kind of looked at them and then took the best parts from all of the samples to send to the supplier and say to them, can you make this? And they came back and said, yes, the unit price was, was good enough um, for the product to be viable. So I'm pretty much just waiting for a final sample of all of those combined into one, and then I'll be pulling the trigger on placing that order. So that pretty much covers my experience with samples to date. If you've got any questions about samples, you know, pop them in the comment or send me an email, darrenlynchfba at gmail.com. Um, if you found the video useful, please hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel as well.